Hey, it's Cal here, and today I want to talk about rental property expenses, and in particular, the fact that stuff breaks. And if you're a landlord, you are on the hook for repairing it, okay? Um, I work as an underwriter uh, for a, a lending company for a living, and so we get a lot of requests for people that want to buy rental properties, right? Lots of people want to buy rentals, but what so many folks, especially when they're brand new to buying rental properties and new to landlording, is they don't factor in the fact that the property is going to need repairs, okay? So I want to help you avoid the mistake of buying a rental but then not factoring in the cost of repairs because what we don't want is for you to lose money monthly or yearly on your rental. We don't want you to regret buying that rental property because it's sucking your bank account dry from all the repair costs, okay? So this is what I recommend. I recommend putting at least 5% of the monthly rent aside every month for repairs, okay? Set up a separate account and every month when you get your, your rental check in, put 5% of your profit, or no, 5% of the total rent amount, put that away for repairs because no doubt, your landlord's gonna come knocking or come calling and asking you to repair the toilet, asking you to repair a broken window, asking you to repaint, or maybe you, the property goes vacant and you're gonna need to repaint or recarpet re the property. Whatever it might be, there's going to be costs and they are coming if they haven't come already for your <laughs> in your rental properties so far. Um, but they are gonna come and you're gonna have to have the money set aside so that you can pay for them. Okay, so it's better to have it come out of the monthly rental income than having you having to fork over the money out of pocket. Okay, so before you pull the trigger on your next rental property, make sure when you're running your numbers, you're going to take your total rent that comes in and you're going to subtract property taxes, insurance, um, and then you're going to want to put at least 5% aside, 5% of the rent amount aside for repairs and maintenance. Now, if it's an older home, that needs, it's gonna need a lot more repairs because it's older or maybe it's not in the best condition, uh, you might wanna make that 10%, okay? If you know that the repairs are coming soon, um, it's better to you know put that money aside early so that you have it available when you need to make those repairs. Or it might be better to just pass on that deal and find another one, okay? But do not forget to put at least 5% of the monthly income away for repairs. And that way your rental property is not gonna be a cash drain that you're gonna hate uh, and want to sell okay the whole point of this is to earn profit every month earn cash flow every month and the only way to do that is to buy it at a price where the rents are high enough to cover all the expenses and you still get money left over at the end of the month so make sure you factor in five percent at least for repairs